All right, quiet all set. Quiet all set. Quiet all set. Ready and action. Who <laughs> wanted? Okay, let me see. And action. Who? Come on. Alex, oh, you gotta sit this up. This is breaking news. According to. <laughs> okay. I got it. Yeah, I got my phone. I didn't want to use it. That's a blue. This film came about um, just simply getting together with youth on our Zoom calls. When we were trying to find a way to uh, let our voices be heard, our pastor. Uh, C. Michael Washington gave us a challenge to come up with an idea to make awareness of the violence and how it affects others. Miss Edith, I think, brought up that we should make a video out of it. And so Miss Terry, who is our director, she kind of wrote out a script for us. A lot of the youth were concerned about um, the violence that's taking place in our cities, in our communities. So in talking about it, we were able to come up with a idea which was to produce a a film to show the effects of violence it tells a story uh of what not to do in today's world it let us know that this could happen to anybody at any time it doesn't mean that you know the person at the wrong place at the wrong time but as that old saying goes yes sometimes you can be out and about not necessarily with the bad crowd but just being out and being an innocent bystander, this can happen to The message of this film is to let the world know that once a crime is committed, it does not just only affect the person that's doing the crime or the person that was involved in the crime, it affects everybody. The message of the film was to bring awareness to the world to stop the violence. We need to come to Christ. We need to come to God. When your loved ones die and it affects the whole community and we should all turn to God. To me the message of the film was for the kids to have a positive attitude, learn to listen to your parents, and keep, keep the faith, keep God in your life. Because hate can only do so much but love is the ultimate power. I think it'll be good for the community. Uh, uh, you know, we see this on a daily basis. It's sad to say we see it on a daily basis. It has young people in it, so there's a combination of individuals in the film and the role that they're playing, their character they're portraying. It is in such a way that even a young person can relate to it. And so I think it's actually going to bring everyone to Christ and going to stop violence. So many times young people get caught up in different situations, but it tells the good aspects of it, uh, like the young man getting ready to go to school and everything and uh, the love he had for his mother, and then it tells of the uh, bad situations where he got shot for no reason. I think this film will impact the community by getting the message through, not just telling them it, but getting the message through by film. Then we started getting our rehearsals together and kind of choosing which which um, youth member should be which character. You know, uh, Kaysen would have added more hand motions because I can't really see hands and have more like, you know, you know, all of this kind of stuff because your body language and face says it all. Uh -huh. But otherwise, it's, it's great. Uh -huh. I think it's really good. Three, two, one, action. Take 122. Now I can't go Oh my gosh, man. Cause you know. I don't know what is it. Now that kill's going. Don't look at me. Oh boy, what do you mean don't look at you? I'm bleeding on you. <laughs> And after that, we started filming, and that took about two or three weeks. It was a very good experience working with our youth. 
uh, on this project because they are more talented than what we think. Um, they are able to um, portray different people and it is the young people who were able to show their emotions. And when we see young people cry, that ought to tug at everyone's heart. So I really enjoy working with the youth. This is breaking news. According to police, there has been a shooting at Bluff Ridge Park High School parking lot. I mean, considering the fact that we here we are in a pandemic, um, social distancing, and that was one of my major concerns. As the mother of the movie producer, I wanted to make sure that everybody who came on set was um, safe and secure. And so um, being able to film everyone separately and bring them all together to make it appear as if everybody is kind of mixed in together was um, that was just awesome. It was it was brilliancy. It was a lot of creativity. And ultimately, it was the gift of God um, all wrapped up in this from every single youth that participated in this film to every single adult that um, dropped the kids off all the way to the creativity that went behind um, forming this film, forming and creating this film. I was amazed. I, I mean, I was intrigued by it, uh, the the way everything was set up, the uh, professionalism of the uh, uh, directorial staff, and 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 the talent from the uh, different actors, and the, especially the young pe younger people. And action. <laughs> the favorite part. Well, I think the favorite part is going to be like your editing which is in every uh, your editing which is in every scene not really every scene but in some scenes like when um dt hudson was in was in the um jail scene that was like the best editing i've ever seen and it was it was like great <laughs> Dang, that was great. Yeah, yeah. go ahead now <laughs> oh let's say let's say a 45. Huh? Age 45. Eight? Age 45. Age 45. Age 45. Oh, age 45. Okay. <laughs> that's good, man. That's good. What? Age 45. Age 45. Uh, that's Tyler Jr. That's good. Pennsylvania. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> this is my first time actually participating in a film of this sort. And so just seeing how we went from talking about it, the trip come together, the rehearsals, and then seeing what all it takes to actually put together a film of this magnitude. I was pretty amazed about how it seems simple, but wow, it's, it's pretty complicated. Then at the same time, there are things that go on behind the scenes uh, as far as putting together the production portion, like, wow, okay, that's pretty neat. Uh, one of the best parts about being on set was kind of, the kind of seeing the reaction of the actors um, when they when they saw that oh, okay we're gonna be on a green screen and we're gonna transform this green screen into a courtroom or into a park to see it from the green screen to in a courthouse setting it just totally amazed me and it just at one point you have a green screen the next point you're in a courtroom it's like you can really make the scene come alive with the different technologies and techniques that we used here on set. It was amazing. It was like I just like couldn't believe it at first, but it's like now it's like I could believe it, but like I still can't believe it. I'm seeing the transformation from the green screen to the trailer. It's really, really amazing, and um, I like being the editor because as an editor, I get to choose what and where we put our actors, and it's kind of like drawing. So it's kind of complicated and um, there were a lot of effects that probably weren't even noticed like even now uh, him having a gavel that wasn't a real gavel that was CGI and I kind of just matched the 
I matched the 3D model of the gavel with his hand and kind of matched out his hand and imported that into the scene. So there were a lot of effects and really the best ones are the ones that aren't noticed. The producer changed the green screen to all these different colored backgrounds and stuff. Seeing the effects of the green screen was absolutely amazing. That was great. That was technology. To bring the green screen alive, it's, it was amazing. It's speechless. It's, it's like a dream come true. Like, it's, I don't know how to describe it. It's, it's amazing. part about being on set was everything was fun. Everybody had good vibes. And action. Okay, son. Don't forget you have practice after school. I won't. Hold on. It's been a wonderful experience. You know, it's, it's allowing me to get some experience in acting so that I could possibly find a new career too. The best part of being on set is you learn. You know, it's, it's a learning process for all of us. I don't know for her to do this and that. Oh, and what okay. he'll do is yeah. just put a desk in front of her. Yeah. This one right there? Okay. Well, okay, yeah. Yeah, so what, what he can do, he'll just, he can put anything in front of you. Yeah, when I want to run, he'll be blocking this. Oh, okay, got it. I got it. Working with Miss Terry was a wonderful experience, mostly because she is very passionate about what she does. And you can tell that she really put her all into the script because she really, because she as a black woman understands what it's like to go through the things we go through. And she really wanted to get her point across through this story. She really loves what she does and she, she works every day on it and um, she's always trying to improve the story and it's, it was just, <laughs> it was very fun to be able to work with her. She's like, she's a pro at what she does. And it was fun because Miss Tara makes everything fun and Christian makes everything fun even though I had to do my part over like 50 times. Yeah, and it was just positive vibes. And Miss Kathy Terry with her creative mind to come up with this story. The youth has been amazing. I've been working with the youth uh, a long time, and it's just amazing to see the transformation in all of our youth, all of our youth, with, with working with them. Um, there's a saying that says that uh, it takes a village to raise a child, and uh, it also takes a village to raise a community. Let's stop the violence. Let's stop the genocide of our own people. Is that it? Cut! <laughs> that is amazing. I, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it.